Today's review is on the Family Guy episode, Meg Goes to College. At the Drunken Clam, Peter tells Quagmire, Cleveland, and Joe that Meg wants some money to attend college. But with Peter being the selfish person that he is, especially now in today's Family Guy, uh, he would rather spend the money on alcohol. No surprise, Peter needs to figure out a way to get her in a good college. Meanwhile, Brian is barking at a squirrel that is up in a tree. Stewie thinks that his days of going after squirrels are over since Brian is getting older. The squirrel comes down the tree, so Stewie tells Brian to get him, boy. But Brian is so tired that he vomits. The squirrel gives Brian the middle finger. <laughs> oh, man. The squirrel gave Brian a mill finger. You guys remember that one episode where Stewie and uh, Chris took care of uh, that one baby squirrel who uh, tragically, sadly, ended up dying horribly due to Brian killing and mauling the poor squirrel? I mean, it was so bad. I mean, Stewie and Chris's reactions, they were so mortified, rightfully so, because they watched their own squirrel that they were taking care of just tragically die right in front of their eyes. And Brian, I mean, he just mauled that squirrel with a passion. Like, he didn't give a F. The way he was squinting his eyes with that, that grrr look. Like, I hate squirrels. I hate them. Hate squirrels. Die, you baby squirrel. I mean, it was that bad. I'm surprised Stewie and, and Chris never confronted Brian about that. But anyways, um, Stewie suggests that Brian should get in shape with Stewie's trainer. So Brian goes for it. Peter and Lois end up seeing Principal Shepard as Peter and Lois want to know what it will take to pay to get Megan college. Peter takes his shirt off due to him thinking that he would have, <laughs> have to sleep with the principal. Peter, are you serious? <laughs> but Lois tells Peter that I'm pretty sure that's not what Principal Shepard meant. But Principal Shepard said that there are other options as he is shirtless and in his underwear. Uh, what the heck is going on? Seriously, what the heck is going on? <laughs> what? Family guy. <laughs> what is going on? Why would Peter take his shirt off and thinking that Principal Shepard was talking about having sex? Peter is straight. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway, that caught me off guard. <laughs> Anyways, Meg ends up at Brown University thanks to a fake application from Principal Shepard. Brian meets up with Stewie's trainer, who is himself. <laughs> Stewie turns Meg's room into a gym since she is now in college. The workouts are not going well. Stewie gives Brian a car for his physical therapist. And I had a feeling it was probably going to be Stewie. I just love the way Brian just knew. And when he asked Stewie, this is going to be you in another shirt, isn't it? And then all of a sudden, here comes Stewie. <laughs> oh, Stewie, you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> Brian knew it. I mean, the look on his face said it all. Brian was like, Stewie, you are unbelievable. Peter also attends Brown University with Meg. When he shouted to Meg, heads up. Bam! He hits Meg in the face with a football. Matter of fact, he done this twice. It's like, dude, why do you constantly keep hitting Meg in the face with a football? Yeah, you shouted out, heads up, but she's not paying attention. If you at least would have said, Meg, Meg, heads up, I'm sure she would have paid attention. What the heck, Peter? Anyways, Peter had a tough conversation by the lake at sunset with Lois. Um, he tells her he is not cool with long distance relationships. Yeah, he's telling her all this as their hair are blowing in the wind. Lois asks if he could pick up Stewie from school. He then puts his finger on her lip and tells her he'll be home for Thanksgiving. Meanwhile, Brian decides to have Doug, Stewie's rival, as his trainer, which hurts Stewie. Peter is getting on Meg's nerves that she tells him like it is. It gets to the point where Peter tells Meg that her application was fake. Peter and Meg are back at home since Meg is suspended. Lois thinks she and Peter could go to jail for the fake application. Meg could not believe that they would do this to her, and she felt that if they would have believed in her, she wouldn't have gotten suspended. And you know what? Meg, you're right. She has a good point. Apparently, Peter and Lois did not believe in their own daughter. And then Peter had a nerve to say, Meg, honey, nobody wants you out of the house more than we did. And there is Peter being an asshole. 
This is how Peter is nowadays in these new Family Guy episodes. This is the Family Guy character development, ladies and gentlemen. Peter, why the heck would you say that to your own daughter? Brian thinks that if Meg can do the things on her application, then she has nothing to worry about. When Brian sees that Stewie feels let down, Brian decides to stop exercising with Doug. Meg aces all the tests, even singing Love is a Battlefield by Pat Benatar in Russian, and Meg killed it. Oh, and Peter is an asshole for dunking on Meg. Wow, Peter, you dunked on your own daughter. And Meg is just lying there on the floor, probably unconscious because she doesn't move a muscle immediately. And of course, her glasses end up falling off from her face due to Peter dunking on her. What the hell, Peter? The final challenge for Meg was windsurfing over Providence Falls. Meg crashes over the falls, and Peter just responds by saying, ah, so close. Really, Peter, it was not that close. Lois begs Peter to call for help, but he asks Lois to do it for him due to his phone being blocked by 911. Peter, why is your phone blocked on 911? And of course, we find out in the, uh, the flashback cutaway. Anyways, as the episode is ending, Doug can't go down the stairs, so Brian carries him. Stewie calls Doug a baby, but Stewie is seen as a hypocrite because he's timid when going down the stairs himself. <laughs> Oh, Stewie, oh, why are you such a hypocrite? How could you be such a hypocrite? Anyways, this has been the Family Guy Meg Goes to College episode. I thought it was overall a good episode. It was funny. But anyways, tell me your thoughts on the episode itself. Did you enjoy it? Did you find it funny? What did you think of Meg singing the Love is a Battle Battlefield by Pat Benatar in Russian? All right, that's it. See you later.